death toll may be much lower than in some major disasters. It is clear we still have a very long way to go to reach all those affected. But the effort is increasing every day as UN and non-UN organisations scale up their presence and their capacities and increase their ability to support the government. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the point is that while the overall death toll from this disaster has been relatively low, happily, compared with the large numbers of people the government estimates to have been affected, unless aid activities continue to be rapidly scaled up to reach those who remain displaced and without immediate access to food and clean drinking water, additional loss of human lives and further suffering will occur. The risk of waterborne diseases is particularly high. That is why your support for this emergency response plan over the next weeks and months is essential. But that besides the thing I think a lot of us haven't understood the scale of this disaster. It is horrendous. It is going to put us back so many years that we're not even starting on the infrastructure. But cholera is breaking out, as John knows. That is going to be very dangerous because drinking water and uh, the sachets for purifying it are going to become very important over the next few days. The scale of the disaster is huge. The needs of the people affected by it are huge. That's why we've appealed for $460 million this morning to try to deal with the consequences of this disaster just for the immediate relief period. This is not a figure which includes uh, all the early recovery efforts which will be needed in future, particularly, for example, in agriculture. And, of course, it does not even begin to contemplate what might be needed to restore the infrastructure uh, which has been destroyed in this disaster. 6,000 villages wiped out the face of the earth. Now, from 5,000 to 50,000 a village, we have no way of counting. We have nothing operational as to how many people in those villages have died and how many are alive. I really think this count is going to take much longer once people start to return to areas. Now with entire villages gone from the face of the earth, we don't know how to count, so we stop the count. What we're doing here is we're loading supplies uh, to be taken from Kabul to support the UNICEF response to the flood emergency in Pakistan. Specifically, what we're loading this afternoon are packets of oral rehydration solution, which are intended to help protect children against the danger of diarrhea, which commonly spreads after such flooding. We're also involved, of course, in the response to the floods that have affected the central, eastern, and now the northern regions of Afghanistan, working together with other UN agencies in support of the government response.